In this video, I will show you how to design and brand your own customized paper bag. This tutorial is divided into three sections. One, how to design the paper bag. Two, how to print your paper bag. Three, how to give your paper bag great finishing. Stay with me till the end of this video to uncover the secret behind branding an impressive customized paper bag. Now, let's begin. I'm going to use Corel Draw for this tutorial. You can use any design software of your choice. Open Corel Draw, set your page to A3, change it to landscape, change your page dimensions to inches. You can use any dimension of your choice, whatever you are comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to use inches in this case. After that, double click on your rectangle tool drag it to the right apply a color to it double click again drag it down apply a color to it double click again drag it upward then add a color Finally, double click and add a color. Okay, select all and add a faint outline to all of them. The next thing you are going to do is for you to bring in all your resources that you are going to use for this design. But before then, here you can choose here one inch. Choose here one inch and choose here 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches. Okay, then the bottom you can choose this one 3 inches. Now, it is time for us to bring in all our resources. I import all my resources that I'm going to use for this design down here. This is my background and these are the two images I'm going to use. Power clip your background into this space. Open the power clip. Fill your background. With the background you have brought in you can choose to blur it a little bit okay close your power clip bring in other images into the same power clip Position it very well. I can choose to change this image to grayscale. Okay, this is beautiful. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my text. Happy. Birthday. Increase the fonts and select your font type. Add a color. You can choose to change this to uppercase depending on what you want. Let's send this text behind. Okay. 
close your power clip now okay what we are going to do is that we are going to make some adjustments to this from what we are seeing now we are going to make some adjustment to this so let's bring this one down a little bit bring this one down a little bit bring this text down and reduce the font okay all right the next thing we are going to do now is for us to bring other elements that will make this design beautiful so i'm going to bring these design elements to my design i paste it here let's do some work here let's write here pastor pastor chris let's choose a date for this big day let's say 7th december choose a nice font i will still go with the first font reduce this to fit in very well okay now duplicate this duplicate this or copy it down here directly bring this forward and make this to align okay our paperback is becoming beautiful but let's add some finishing touches to this let's use interactive field here let's use interactive field here okay finally there is something we want to do to this paper bag i would love to use this gold color instead of this white to make the design more unique than this so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy the feel of these elements that i have here so let's bring this element into the power clip. Let's bring the element into the power clip. Drag this the way you have your text and copy fill. Can you see that? Okay, you can choose to delete this off because we have it already. Now, the next thing you are going to do, you can add your lighting effects. So, let's pick any of these lighting effects down to our design. Okay, our design is done. Can you see the beauty of this design now? Now you can print this the way it is. So when you are going to fold this, you are going to fold this paper bag with this line. I'm going to show you step by step. 
we are going to fold this with this line fold it with this line fold it with this line now if you want to print one paper bag you are going to print this design two copies that means if you want to print two paper bags you are going to print this design four copies okay now what you are going to do now is for you to save your work and take it for printing next is how to print your paper bag simply go to a printing press and print your already designed jobs using a direct image printer generally known as di machine using a di machine to print your work is recommended if you are printing lower quantity if you want to mass produce your paper bag i recommend you run a full press which will require you to use industrial printing machines like cord printers or speed masters. This will reduce cost than using a DI machine for mass production. Next is giving your paper bag great finishing. Don't go away because this is the most important aspect of this tutorial. After printing your paper bag, you have to laminate those printed jobs to make it look glossy and durable using industrial laminating machine. Trim out any excess edges using industrial cutting machine. Now it is time to fold the bag. Make sure you fold it neatly using the line traces you added while designing. Finally, tie your handles. And that is it. You now have a beautifully designed and branded customized paper bag. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button for more creative tutorials and inspirations like this. See you on my next tutorial.